this evolution creation debate has been going on for quite a long time. We've been knocking at the door of, of evolutionism for quite some time because they believe and make a lot of assertions and believe assumptions that are not based in hard evidence. Um, the cool thing is that every time you point out the errors with uh, evolutionism you are called anything in the books and um, instead of providing um, or searching why is that we point out hey check this out the uh, what you just said um, has absolutely nothing to do with the scientific method that cannot pass the scientific method and every time we provide you with the uh, necessary information to look it up you call every name in the book and it just keeps going on and on and on and on you know I get uh, uh, I, I involve myself in um, debates with uh, uh, science deniers all the time and um, instead of um, arguing with the information that I provide and hard evidence I you know I, I get insulted I get disrespected I uh, get called a liar because they get emotional with the evidence providing that I that I provide and other creationists provide that shows that evolutionism doesn't exist. It's it's only exists in the imagination of uh, the individuals trying to um, disregard aspects that proves creation and the sign. They don't they don't want to. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to um, um, argue about it. Instead, they want to shut you down completely. Call you, I mean, you know, you got series like uh, Aaron Rice, stupid series of uh, um, the many falsehoods of creationism. He doesn't bring absolutely no substance except that he loves to insult. Uh, he, he does it in a very smart, articulate way. Um, and yes, he provides some good points stating that, you know, the... The, uh, the Catholic Pope, uh, acceptable evolutionism. Yeah, the one that's dead did. The one that's alive doesn't. Um, and that's the information that uh, that they like to pr uh, provide. You know, ju just beats and pieces. But they don't they don't present absolutely anything that uh, uh, discre uh, discredits the information. What they like to do is they want to discredit the individual. They they uh, they assault the individual. And they don't they don't they don't want to deal with the fact of the matter that everything in the natural world proves creation and the sign they don't it to admit that will be logical so therefore they they can't go there they don't want to go there they get emotional they get angry bitter and um, um, they present arguments that are already been proven wrong time and time again. For example, they like to state that the human eye is weaker, but the octopus eye is stronger. Well, there's a reason why the octopus eye is different than ours. You see, because our eyes, um, uh, the red blood cells are in front because it protects us against UV light. Well, the octopus has it back because water is an excellent conductor of... Um, it helps block UV light. So w when you're shown that, um, they, they block you. Oh, for example, the uh, vestigial structures, for example, the coccyx bone. Well, you need the coccyx bone because it helps you sit down and take a cropper. If you take it out, you hurt yourself. You won't be able to sit down very well. You'll be very uncomfortable. Actually, excruciating. it'll be excruciating pain painful to sit down and to take a crap if you take that bone out. It's special. It needs to be there for a reason. Or they like to point out how the well uh, has vestigial structures, the, um, the bones at the very back of the well. Well, they need those bones because they're attached to special muscles that helps the well uh, reproduce. Without it, they can't have baby whales. But I like to point out that it is vestigial, that they're remnants of uh, uh, a creature that they never saw produce a creature that we see today.
you know it's all in the imagination and that's what evolutionism provides them I mean, it provides them a total escape escape um, escape from reality to help them protect themselves against a god a creator that made this planet in the universe and this incredible complexity all around us it's just blatantly blatantly stupefyingly complex that's what I um, the words that I'm trying to look for so you know to my fellow um, creationists and say look you have to study you have to study a lot you know in order to counter this and believe me when I tell you that every time you counter it you are gonna get every name in the book they're gonna call you moron stupid uh, liar uh, or they even accuse you of liberal I just got accused of liberal by an uh, uh, insecure evolutionist that uh, uh, doesn't like um, the fact that I provided physical evidence and I provided uni secular universities that shows, uh, for example, re uh, ready te uh testing is useless and um, they keep use regurgitating the, the information that says that this planet has millions of millions of years and that layers upon layers proves millions and millions. No, it doesn't. It's based on circular reason. You know, I know when my fellow um, Nephilim free, uh, you know, he he's right. He doesn't he doesn't engage in debates with any of these amateur evolutionists that doesn't know what they're talking about. He doesn't. He doesn't. Buy, he he shoots down their stupidity. And the people that reply back to him, they they keep regurgitating the same things that he shoots down over and over and over again and all they have to defend themselves so you're an idiot you don't know what you're talking you need to go back to school this that yada 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 that's not gonna work that's not gonna make us go away this debate is gonna continue until evolutionism goes away and believe me when we tell you it will go away it's just it, you know if if you wanted to keep it in your own mental safe house so you can protect yourself from the truth and reality that this planet was designed and created for a purpose so be it that's your call nobody should stand in the way but when we are educating our children and our uh, uh, young adults in the universities they ought to know the scientific facts and they're not getting they're all getting is a lot of assumptions and a lot of conclusions that does not uh, uh, validate the scientific method at all the scientific method is showing us that those assumptions are wrong all of them but it's cool it's cool I'm just gonna continue doing I, I'm enjoying myself I learn every day something new about science and every time I'm uh, uh, I watch some of these uh, erroneous videos I gotta say something you know I'll see if I can plant the, the seed in order to help those that want to find God and want to strengthen their lives in God know the truth. I'm not scared anymore. I don't care if you insult me, you belittle me, you do whatever it is that you want to do. It's, it's a, I don't care. I really don't care. You call me whatever silly thing that there is out there. I'm just never gonna stop if I can help that one or two or three or four or five that's all I'm, that's what I'm gonna do and I and I really really enjoy myself doing it and I don't you know I'm just gonna continue doing that because it it's the right thing to do